me, this really special thing about jazz is it's, it's really strongly based on improvisation. Because of that, that means it's really central to the person that's playing it. When you play and when you improvise, what's coming out is your musical background. My background was really important to the music that I play as well. I graduated from UTAS with first class honours in 2012. I think one of the strengths of the conservatorium down here is its size. You get that one-on-one -on -one attention and having that was really instrumental. Suddenly I was surrounded by people who were dedicated musicians and they were always practicing, always listening to music, always seeing music and that was, that was incredible to be part of that kind of environment. The Fulbright gave me the opportunity to pursue a year of my masters over in the US. And the teachers there were chosen because they were long-standing members of the New York jazz scene. I ended up being taught by some of my, my musical heroes. People like Christian McBride, John Mosca, Armand Donnellian, and Vincent Herring, Rich Perry, Julian Lage, Matt Ministeri. It was just incredible to be suddenly just a part of an environment where they were real people instead of just faces on a CD catalog. When I realised I was going to the US to spend time there, I was really daunted by it. Utah's actually prepared me really well and the teachers I had here are not so different to the teachers that I had in the US. As soon as I got to New York, I thought, wow, this is home. This is, this is a massive city where there's so much music happening. I started realising that there is an Australian accent to jazz if it's learnt in Australia. And that's a point of difference that, I guess, made me interesting in the US. It's been really interesting coming back and forth between New York and Tasmania because we've recently undergone this massive cultural change where arts and culture is a really central part of our community and what we focus on. And there's all these new festivals and all these new events and all these amazing musicians that are down here creating music. And that, that's really special to be on such a small island with such a high level of musicianship and high level of artistic creativity. That's, that's amazing.